Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Mark and in today's video I'm going to show you how to recalibrate the CO2 sensor in a paraffin heater. Um, I've had this heater now for about 12 years. It's an inverter 3007, uh, kicks out two kilowatts of heat and um, started noticing a problem with a CO2 monitor uh, last year and it's steadily got worse to the extent now uh, we might have to turn it on a dozen times. We keep getting the error and uh, have to return it on again before it finally starts. Um, and it's actually packed up completely now for the last two days. I've gone online and I found out how to fix the error, the CO2 error, on this heater. Um, don't have to take it in for a service. Last service cost me 45 euros. So for the sake of a paper clip, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with a CO2 sensor. Um, the panel, front panel, comes off with two screws at the top. I've already undone those. And here we have the front panel and the working system of the heater. The motherboard for the heater uh, is just here. And on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see S1 and S2. And there's two holes above the S1. And it's these two holes where the paper clip comes into use. And the reason I'm using the paper clip is that there's quite a bit of tension within there and it creates a great connection. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you the S1 on the motherboard. Okay guys, here's the motherboard in closer detail. And as you can see, the S1 and S2 is clearly marked. I'll just show you which holes uh, we need to insert the paper clip. So it's just, there's your S1, and it's those two holes here. If this was the bottom, they're directly above the S1. And we just literally bend the paper clip, and the springiness of the paper clip is going to create a good connection when we insert them into those two holes. This arc structure here is actually the CO2 sensor and it's that that's bringing up the CO2 error message and switching the machine off. So let's see by doing this we can fix the problem. So I'm just going to insert the paper clip, the tips, into those two holes. A little bit fiddly. Okay, so you can see the paper clip has been inserted in those holes. We'll now plug it in and I'll zoom out for a little while. Okay, what you have to count, you have to count for 10 seconds to recalibrate the um, CO2 sensor. And what makes it easier is that it will flash every second. So we count the flashes one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn it off. We're going to take these out now. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Let's see if we fix the problem for the CO2 uh, monitor on the inverter 3007. Takes a little time to warm up before it starts working. Fingers crossed it works. I've actually looked online and a lot of people are having the same problem with the heater, with the uh, CO2 error message coming up. And if it is as simple as a paper clip to fix this issue, then you've saved yourself quite a bit of money on servicing fees that probably someone would have done the same thing in the service shop. 
is actually a great little heater. You know, I've had it for 12 years, and hopefully fixing this today, fingers crossed, um, I'm gonna get another 12 years use out of it. At the end of this video, guys, is a preview of Naomi's Filipino cooking channel, where Naomi presents some wonderful Filipino cooking uh, recipes, all presented in English for you to enjoy at home. Just gotta wait a little while before this uh, hopefully starts working. What would normally happen is that it fires up, and as soon as it fires up, the uh, heater switches off with a CO2 error message. Okay, it's fired up, it's working. And it's at this point that it would normally switch straight off again. So hooray, we've fixed it. So for the sake of a paperclip, we've fixed the problem of the CO2 sensor on the inverter 307. It's working. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to fix the error message for the CO2 sensor for the inverter 3007. If you have, please like and share this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.